Oh, the gearbox is done. This is the gearbox. I wanted to reduce the gearing on this thing so that uh, I didn't have to um, have so many loops on a roll. I wanted to make this work out a little differently. So there it is. first modification I'm going to do is I want this neodymium magnet to fit right inside this little loop inside there. I have to trim a tiny bit of this out to make that work. That's currently my finished gearbox. Now let's put it on the unit. Got one part belt tensioner. So the next thing I did was I took some wood and I made this contraption. I added my gear on the end of here. All right, I had to cut the wood out because it's too low. And uh, just screwed this together and uh, I originally was going to put magnets in here but decided to screw some right on the back hard drive magnets all right so gearbox goes up here I think I got it where I like it now. I can give you a little, uh, a little tour here. This is the completed apparatus. This is just a washer. I moved the uh, set collar in between here. I had to move all this stuff over, so I put the set collar here, moved everything a little bit. Um, I should probably put another set collar here, but as hard as it is to move those on those bearings, it ain't going anywhere. So the same thing here, I added a washer so that uh, I had a belt guide. I took the tensioner off because I, I designed this thing for it to be tight when it slid over and it just happens to be quite accurately tight right there. And then uh, this I fastened in the right spot so it was about in the center of my incoming pulley. And the reason I wanted the reduction is because uh, this is all geared. So I was even going to add a lower, even a lower reduction but I did some counting and this should be equivalently accurate to the distance that I need on a spool. Some of my spools are different sizes so it's going to just oscillate the, the winding and that's all I really care about at this moment. But yeah. Pretty, pretty sweet. I did 3D print some cones as another portion of this um, so that my spool centers. This is pretty tight, so it just pushes on there. I do have a little clamp here that I'll add for safety measures, but probably don't need it. So what I'm going to do now is I've got a spool of filament here that I did by um, moving this jig around before I had this winder set up. So I'm going to unspool this onto a new spool just to get an idea of how nice it uh, it spools. So. Here's the beginning. Let's see. Got some looseness going on, some odd stuff going on. So let's see if we can rewind this and actually do some good.
All right, well, we re-spooled it, and uh, this is what it looks like. Now, one thing I've noticed is that uh, because my spools are shorter than the travel length here, it doesn't work very well. So I'm going to get a bigger spool that more matches this width, which I knew that would have been uh, an option, or I should say a problem. Uh, because what it is, is it comes over to the edge and it sits against the edge too long and it fills up the edge, as you can see. Now it is very tightly wound, though. That's a good thing. So let me see if I can find a bigger spool. It might have a smaller center, but let's see what I can do. There you go. This is very nice and tight. This is a bit loose, but I think it was my fault. But uh, now we'll have to test this thing with it actually running filament where it's got nice tension on it constantly because that was part of the problem why some of this is loose. And uh, just see what happens. So the right size spool makes perfect. And uh, as you saw, I just added an old tape roll onto one of these other spools and off I went. Da, 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 da. Okay, sorry. Yay! So this is it. Um, the winding jig machine thing, my bob, is uh, happily running away here. And uh, so far so good. I haven't had any problems with it. I did uh, whiten the spool, obviously, from earlier, and um, I added this roller because this radius right here was too tight and it was wanting to bend my plastic, so I had made these a long time ago for something else and I found this rubber uh, mesh, this or, uh, coating rubber stuff happened to fit those pieces, so I slapped it on there and just kind of bolted it on there in place, and um, so far so good. Um, spec is running really nice for the most part it's on cue and uh, I'm recording all of this through a live stream here with this camera and that camera and that camera so I will uh, time-lapse that and we can actually watch watch it a little bit better so my next step um, for me is to add a um, circuit to read the calipers at least on an external LCD because this one keeps turning off on me and it drives me crazy. So if at least I had it on an external LCD then I would be I'd be happy with that. And uh, that's my next step. Eventually I may you know loop it back into the system that feeds it but honestly I don't think I will um, because that might cause more trouble than it's worth. If I set up the PID loop really open then maybe it will be fine. Um, but by the time the plastic comes out to the point it gets here where it's pulling it to the point where it's being measured that would have to be a really big open loop and if I'm not careful it's just gonna go way under way over and kind of float and that wouldn't that wouldn't be any good so I may eventually end up doing that but who knows when that's gonna happen I would like to get the caliber thing working that should be pretty simple because there's already some people out there in the world open source this stuff that's currently the end of this session. I know it's kind of long, but it's what you got. It's the current setup. I want to clean my bench and everything up, but uh, yep. So far, so good. I like a charm. We'll see you soon. Oh man, look at that spool. It's quite a lot of plastic. So um, I ran this for about five or six hours. 
I actually need to ch check the exact time, but between five and six hours. And um, I, I put new plastic in here. Um, I had just finally used up the last 18, uh, the first 18 pound box I ever bought. And um, I started getting this mess. You can see there's about two or three wraps here um, that have these really nasty oscillations in them. And that's not good. Once you start getting the oscillations in there, it actually starts vibrating here, which gets worse, and it just continuously gets worse. So I just decided that was enough for now, and I stopped it. And uh, it's very solid, very well, nicely wrapped. And I'm going to weigh it. So let me uh, put this right here, I guess. Answer that first. One point six, uh, one point six four seven pounds. So there's quite a bit more spool on there. It's not even uh, maybe it might be half full, but uh, it's pretty good. So we'll do some math. Find out how many pounds an hour this thing will do. But that looks like pretty good filament right there. Like I said, towards the end it started getting those oscillations. That's why I shut it down. But other than that, it was no biggie. And uh, that's the uh, that's the end of it for now. Do 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 do.